Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do the daily vibes for whenever it resonates, you know, because the timing is fluid. I think a lot of people are stuck on timing. I just need to reiterate that the timing is fluid. These readings are timeless. Everybody's on different timelines, right? Uh, this is what's to come. Um, I would say in the next couple of days, that's my, my guess. Um, so yeah, let's get started. Knight of Wands reversed. Mm. Knight of Wands reversed. Now that is out of control. There's somebody that is moving too fast, extremely fast, rushing, show off, boasting, needing attention. Somebody needs some attention. <laughs> Could be dealing with a fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. This is this is moving very very fast. Let's see what we got with it. Seven of Swords on this side. What's over here? The Hermit. The Hermit. So it feels like we have a little boy that needs some advice. I think we have a little boy that needs some advice and it looks it, it this is an elder okay this hermit is an elder there's a need there is need for advice we have somebody here that is out of control this person may be angry uh scheming something planning uh, thinking about doing something, coming up with a plan. It's not a, it's not a wise situation. This is escape and this could be an escape. Somebody is trying to escape something, trying to get away with it. Um, they're moving very, very fast, not listening to any advice. Now this is coming out of isolation as well, by the looks of these cards, we have somebody that may have been in isolation. They may have been uh, planning. There's planning something here as well, but this is not a very good plan. Okay, so somebody has definitely been planning something, but I'm not sure it's a good plan. This person may have received some advice from a father or a mentor, mentor somebody that is wise. And I feel like the adv advice that they have received... You know, they're not listening to it because they feel like this person is too uh, young, too immature to listen. So I feel like whoever this child is, uh, maybe a boy, could be a girl. Okay, could be a boy, could be a girl. I don't know. This, whoever this child is has probably been told, you know, what they, they should or shouldn't do. But this person isn't listening and they think they can still get away with it. So I think that we have somebody that is going to do something uh, stupid, just being honest. I mean, we have this Knight of Wands reverse next to the Seven of Swords. This is shady, sneaky behavior. This person um, thinks they can get away with whatever they, they want to get away with. Um, chip on their shoulder. We have somebody that has a chip on their shoulder. This is a know-it-all. Um, <clears throat> it's like, I'm going to do it anyway. I'm going to do it anyway. I'm going to do it. You know, this is going it alone. Somebody that, you know, I feel like this person does have a lot of courage. Is very, very feisty, very fiery. And we talk about the hangman reversed or upright quite a bit lately. Now, this is a new perspective is needed. Refusing to go in, obsessed with control. Egotism, extreme egotism. This person will not change and won't listen to any advice. 
So we definitely have somebody here that doesn't listen to any advice. Could be dealing with a Pisces. Could be dealing with a Virgo. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, male or female. It feels like we have somebody that has been in isolation. This person has been feeling isolated. Um, they've grown, they've, they've, uh, well, grown just came out of my mouth. It feels like they've grown accustomed to being alone. Um, but then there's, there's, there's the little, it feels like this could be the same person even. There's, there's an old man, but there's a little boy. So it feels like there, well, it could be a girl, whatever. It feels like there's, there's somebody that is reconnecting with their childhood as well. And they may be angry. Somebody may be angry. You know, I feel like there's anger here. Okay. Um, so, and there's, there's, there's un willing to change or to this person has some sort of um belief has some sort of belief that is only their own and it feels like they're unwilling to change their mind or to listen to anybody else's opinions or advice therefore there's there's some sort of isolation that is happening because this person is unwilling to you know come down off their high horse or unwilling to budge, unwilling to see things any differently. Um, this is somebody that has this, it's like a martyr, okay? This person could, you know, it's almost like, you know, being alone for the rest of your life because you're unwilling to, um, let go of your ego and compromise and maybe admit that you were wrong. And somebody may be wrong. They may have done something deceptive. They may have done something foolish, you know, and, and they don't want to be held accountable. So it's better to just retreat, you know, and not show it's like embarrassment, it's disgrace. Anyhow, I don't know. I don't know what's going on here, but it feels like we have somebody here that, um, is struggling to let go of their old ways. They're not learning their lessons. They're hiding something. Six of Cups reversed. The Chariot. Yes. So this person, somebody's angry. I feel like we have somebody here that is angry with that Knight of Swords. That this person is in a hurry. They've been isolated. They have, because this is isolation. They've been withdrawing from the world. And it feels like there's something from their past, from their childhood that is coming back around. Memories, okay? They're clinging to the past. There could be some bad memories from the past that are resurfacing. So we have somebody here that is very strong-willed. This person has a lot of uh, will. You know, I will not change. I will not. So this person is on a mission to prove themselves. This is this is moving definitely moving extremely fast. Something is going to be happening. We have an individual that is going to be taking charge, going to be uh, hitting the road. Headed home, head, because it's six of cups, this is to, headed, I mean, the, this is the memories of the past. They're, they're headed to, I don't know where it is, but somebody towards somebody in, from the past by the looks of things. Now, the six of cups reversed is... Uh, I think there's some bad memories or something. This is packing up and leaving home. This is moving and this is moving. Somebody may be moving. Okay. Somebody may be moving away from this person. Okay. We could have two different people here. This is, somebody's going to be moving. They're moving away from this person that will not change. They are. 
and it's it's a very sneaky move okay it's it's it is a sneaky move okay they're just not being talked about okay so it is definitely a sneaky move <laughs> now this is a Jesus consciousness so somebody may have become aware through a period of isolation as to what they need to do. Perhaps they need to leave the past behind. They're dealing with an individual that is a martyr. That may be wanting to punish them for their own sins, whatever. You know, that's the way it goes. People don't want to be held accountable for their actions, so they punish everybody around them. So I feel like there is somebody here that, you know, is very difficult, very hard to deal with. And whoever that they have been um, fighting with is moving. There's moving here. Somebody's going to be moving. It's very uh, sneaky. Okay, there's something, it's it's behind the scenes, okay? And this person is being very careful with their actions. They don't, they don't want to, they don't want to get caught, okay? They don't want to get caught. Um, there is going to be some forward movement, though. So somebody is moving, they're going someplace. They're going to be packing up and leaving um, this person that won't change, This person has missed an opportunity. They've missed an opportunity trying to prove a point. Now it's too late. Anyhow, um, this is like a sudden departure. Okay, the Knight of Wands reversed. So we this is a sudden departure. Somebody is suddenly going to leave. Now, this now we can change this up a little bit. We can we can change this up a lot. Whatever. The six of cups cups reversed. Nothing stays stays the same. This is this is uh leaving the past behind. It doesn't have to be anything more than that. I do feel like we have somebody here that was robbed of their innocence as a child. Maybe by a father or something like that. There is somebody that was robbed of their innocence with the Six of Cups reversed. Or they just didn't have a very good childhood. And maybe that's why they have something to prove now. Because when you when you grow up in a bad childhood, you spend the rest of your life trying to prove your value and your worth to whoever you're with. You try to prove that you're in control. You try to prove it. You just want to continue to prove to everybody, you know, your value, that you're good enough. And I feel like that whoever we're dealing with is, is doing that. Anyhow, this is moving. Somebody is moving. This is, uh, and it's this move is going to give this person a whole new perspective. This hangman that has been unable to change and has been stuck in their ego. <laughs> is going to be left behind. That person is being left behind. Knight of Swords reversed. Now, the Knight of Swords reversed. Again, this is out of control. Out of control, out of control. We, we definitely have a uh, dangerous individual here. That feels like there's there, there's a vehicle, okay? Because these are all moving very, very moving fast, extremely fast. Somebody's in, in the move. I mean, whether it's moving house or somebody gets in their vehicle and they're speeding, that could be the case as well. Because there's there's very fast movement. We have somebody. This is like a dangerous situation, okay? With the Knight of Wands reversed and the Knight of Swords reversed. 
We have somebody that um, is looking for a fight. There's some sort of insincerity here. There's some sort of um, energy. It's very, it's very uh, crazy. This is crazy. It's craziness. It's uh, somebody gets very, very upset. They get very upset. It, it, they do. They can't. It's almost like they say you can't get away with it or something like that. There's definitely some sort of scheming going on with that Seven of Swords. We have somebody here that is going to be doing something that is crazy. Okay, they are. With the, with the Knight of Wands reverse and the Knight of Swords reverse. This is bad. This is definitely a know-it-all that is looking for a fight. Somebody is looking for a fight. And they are moving very, very fast. It's like they, they got a bone to pick. Somebody's got a bone to pick. Determined. We have somebody here that is determined to stop. This is stop. Somebody is determined to stop somebody or something like that. What are they determined to do? Three of Swords. Oh my God, this is heartache. This is pain. Hurt. Hurt. Somebody is determined to. Well, three of Swords is, is hurt. Okay, so that is stabbed right in the heart. This is heartache. It's pain. It's grieving. It's sadness. Somebody is determined to leave. They are. Somebody is determined to leave. And maybe they need to put a stop to a dangerous situation. It feels like it's dangerous. I feel like there's lies, there's deception, there's scheming, there's plotting. There's something going on here. This hurts, whatever it is. The Three of Swords is painful. It's a painful separation. There's a painful separation here. This is, this is heartache. Somebody is leaving. They're leaving very, very quickly. It's all of a sudden. And I feel like it happens when nobody's looking. Now this person is hurting, the person that is leaving. That's why they're leaving. Yeah, but the chariot is about transformation. It's about using using control, uh, taking a journey of some sort. Somebody is taking a journey, trying to take control of their lives. They have to break free from this person that will not change. Whoever they're dealing with is very, you know, stubborn very egotistical, uh, unreasonable, you know, I can't reason with this person. So this is why this person is leaving. They're leaving because they can't deal with this person anymore. And they're in it. It's like they're headed towards, uh, well, Ten of Cups reverse. This is definitely leaving home. If this is a dying dream, it's it's children leaving or a broken relationship or somebody is leaving leaving home. It didn't end successfully. And the only way for it to be successful is to go. Somebody is headed towards dealing with some pain in their heart because they can't hang on to this person looks like the fool to me in the upright you know they can't hang on to this fool that uh, doesn't really care you know um, anyhow I feel like there's there's a there's a there's a definitely a separation okay that is coming there is there's children either leaving the home or moving away or leaving some children behind or 
Maybe they were left behind in the past. Somebody may have neglected their children in the past. Something like that. There's something going on here. Um, we have some wise counsel, though. So there's somebody that is being told what to do. They're being given some sort of advice. But they're probably not listening to that advice because this person is a know-it-all. It's this person right here. Because this person won't listen to any advice, it's like they're pushing somebody away. And the person, person that they're pushing away is leaving. The person that they are pushing away is planning the move right now. Ten of Cups reversed. Relationship problems. The end of a relationship. It's not it's not happy. There's no relationship here. It hurts to stay here. Page of Wands reverse. It's not good news. It's not good news. It's bad news. Somebody is dealing with an individual that is very negative. This person is unreliable. This person um, makes excuses, procrastinates, doesn't, doesn't, um, could be overly optimistic as well. You know, could go, could go either way, could go the other way as well. We have somebody here that is immature and aggressive and is always helpless and is unwilling to change and, and this person um, is going, somebody's going to be getting some unwelcome news. It's not good news. It's going to hurt when they receive the news. It's going to hurt. It's going to be heartbreaking. This news is going to be heartbreaking. The stubbornness The need to prove a point. The unwillingness to change is pushing somebody away. Somebody is planning the move behind the scenes right now. This is planning. Okay, it really is. It could be the Empress. Could happen in about three months. Could be nine months. Could be nine months. Anyhow, um, this is the birth of a new life. Now, the Empress, this one's about ready to pop, though, so it could be any time. It could be any time. It's a time of growth. It's a time of receiving. This is a new beginning. There's an opportunity for a new beginning here, but it comes after pain. Okay, the Empress doesn't get a blessing until she deals with the pain. Okay, so somebody is going to be experiencing some pain. That three of swords. This pain is a blessing in disguise. Because it's beginning of a new life. A way. It is a way because of all these movement cards. It's away from this individual that is very ignorant. 
this ignorant individual is going to be very upset. They are going to be heartbroken when they find out. But it's going to be too late. This is bad news that is coming. It's not good news, okay? It's not good news. And it has to do with... It's like... It's a... It's... Somebody from the past that they were in a, in a long-term relationship with, whether it's a child or a family member or somebody that they loved, is leaving. And it's very sudden... Anyhow, we'll get one more card. One more card. Ah! The Empress reversed. Next to that hangman. Upright. The hangman's reversed as well. <laughs> Look at that. So, uh... <laughs> Both of them are reversed. The Empress reversed is in pain. The Empress in reverse is in pain. She doesn't know her value or she didn't know her value. There's no growth. There's this is this is overdue. This is a termination of some some sort. So there's some 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 sort of termination, terminating the contract, termination, termination of some sort. No fertility. It's a loss. She's gonna give him a new perspective. He didn't value her. She didn't value herself. She allowed this to happen. Because she didn't know her value. Now she's somebody is finding their strength. Because this is a card of strength. It's going to be painful though. Anyhow. The tower, the tower, the tower reversed. This is something you never saw coming. This is a permanent loss. It is definitely a permanent loss. You can't rebuild it. You can't fix it. It's too late. So yes, there's definitely going to be a permanent loss here. This is a painful change that this person or this person never saw coming. Somebody has been trying to build up a false sense of security. They may have built a false foundation with somebody they don't love. Feels like their whole world is about to crumble. Fast. This is unavoidable. Somebody has been un, has been able to avoid change. They have been avoiding change. Hanging on to a false sense of security. But now, they're moving in a different direction. Congratulations. Good luck.